as you are well aware, I assume, Mr. Cherry, Jasmine Marie, Sydney, Thomas and myself were lucky enough to be selected to go to the Anzac Centenary Commemorations in Turkey only a few weeks ago. My job today is to share with you some of the photos taken and talk about what a moving experience it was. Is it? No, go back. <laughs> what have you done? There we go. Um, on the 25th of April, 19, uh, 1915, Anzac forces landed where Mr. Cherry seemed to be standing in this picture. This was taken on our first day in Turkey around mid-afternoon. The Gallipoli coastline is a beautiful peninsula, uh, making it difficult to fathom the horrors that happened on those beaches a century ago. In the background is a landmark known as the Sphinx. This is just one example of the steep cliff-like terrain only a few hundred metres back from the beach. Despite all being a bit tired throughout the day, we tried to make the most of the tour. Helping us maintain a positive attitude throughout the trip was Mr. Cherry, seen here full of enthusiasm and joy, as evident by the beaming smile across his face. <laughs> this expression was upheld throughout the entirety of the trip. Next one? Yep, cheers. During the, during the Gallipoli campaign, Turkish forces defended their motherland from invading powers under the command of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk who is commonly known as the father of modern Turkey. This structure is a memorial to the 60,000 Ottoman martyrs, uh, almost 60,000 Ottoman martyrs who sacrificed themselves for their country. This gave us a Turkish perspective, which was a moving display of patriotism and remembrance. On this day in particular, we were lucky enough to have the Turkish Air Force provide an air show around the memorial, which was watched by, a group, which was watched by the group and hundreds of other visitors. The term Mata is, a, is used with a great deal of respect by the Turkish people, as it is an Islamic title for someone who has displayed courage in sacrificing their life for their religion or cause, and is given to, the fallen, to, to all fallen Ottoman soldiers of the Gallipoli campaign. This one? Lone Pine Memorial. One of the most well-known memorials for Anzac soldiers, particularly Australians, the Lone Pine Memorial was one of the most memorable sites on, on the trip along with other cemeteries visits that day. This, this was the venue where we, would spend, uh, where we would be seated during the extended commemorations on the 25th to pay our respects to both Australian and Turkish forces who fought in this place of battle. I struggled to find the words to describe these places like Lone Pine and the Neck to family and friends once I returned. Chilling is one of the few words that I used to assist in sharing my experience. An understanding of the atmosphere cannot fairly be shared with words, but walking through these sites was a sobering experience, seeing the headstones of boys and men from across Australia, with ages varying from people in the year below me to, the, to that of my parents. The opportunity to go on this tour has been a great pr privilege that I am very grateful for. There were many deserving students within the school who could have easily represented just as well as the, the four of us. I know my speech may have not been the most entertaining, but I hope you all have a better comprehension of one of the most significant events in Australian history. Thank you all again very much, and I hope you have a great weekend.